what's going on YouTube first video of 2019 and let's start this by implementing how you can optimize your playback performance to the maximum based on your computer so we're gonna cover three very important things you can do in order to speed up your color grading process so we're gonna talk about resolution we're gonna talk about optimized media and we're gonna talk about the third thing is the render cache now each of those things serve a different purpose when you color grade and edit so we're gonna talk about each and for whatever reason you should use different version of it so number one very quick the first thing you can do in order to speed up your color grading performance is to actually lower your screen resolution because a lot of times people edit in native 4k or if you have a slow computer in 2k or hd and basically what happens that your computer performance your graphic card performance especially goes into basically the sizing of the information instead of actually working on the color processing or editing processing so when you work in the native 4k 8k 6k whatever it is or even regular hd your graphic card basically working depending on resolution it gives a lot of juice into that uh, size so if your computer is not powerful enough it's completely okay to drop your resolution to 720p or even lower if you're working with a laptop now two other things optimize media and render cache we're gonna take a look right now inside the venture resolve over here i have clip from blackmagic design and it's pretty laggy because i applied um, color grading into it but if we're gonna drop everything it should play relatively decent so let's talk about optimize media basically what optimize media is for is when you edit optimized media creates proxies within davinci resolve so basically it's kind of caching it in its own format therefore it's created its own proxies so how would you set it up first of all other than resolution we talked about i always do in 1080p which is fine um you have in the master settings you have two options you have optimized media and render cache and you have working folder basically for working folder i highly recommend using solid state drive or relatively fast hard drive above 5400 rpm because if you're working on a laptop and basically you want to create cache on the very same hard drive you're not really going to see a lot of difference because those 5400 rpm hard drives extremely slow so it's going to be relatively pointless and basically over here the cache file location is where you appoint where you want your cache folder to be so over here i have on my k drive which is my solid state drive and basically everything from optimized media to render cache gets on my solid state and whatever i need to use it gets relatively pretty fast speed now optimized media and render cache uh, the first section optimized media resolution i would leave it on automatically because davinci going to decide what's better for your system <clears throat> optimized media format that's basically goes for your editing primarily if your computer is slow or i would say below average i recommend and by the way if you're on apple it's gonna have prores instead of dnx over here so if your computer below average i really recommend dropping this to hq or sq it will definitely give you better playback performance if your computer completely slow drop it down to lb same goes for the render cache uh, by default it's uh, uh, going to be placed same as optimized media if your computer is slow drop it down you'll see a relatively um, decent jump in the performance so on my system those two formats are right and basically i'm not going to do anything with it so let's set up optimized media first so again optimized media is good for if you editor so here we have the clip let's say i have problems with the performance and here's that clip in the bin 
or you can have multiple clips in my case for the tutorial it's only one so right click and we can navigate to generate optimize media and basically once you click on it DaVinci is going to start calculating in the background is going to start basically processing all that information and for this tutorial I specifically used very crappy 5400 rpm drive that I have is like super old performance is super slow so I can kind of show you um, that it's generating MIDI instead of from SSD it would take like a few seconds and basically once this thing is completed we're gonna see relatively you know jump in the performance again that's only work for editing now keep in mind if you have large project you need to have a lot of storage for your optimized media because optimized media is not a magic solution it takes a lot of storage in some cases terabytes of space to generate all those files so keep that in mind if your hard drive very small if your computer relatively very weak again you have big project you're probably not going to see any kind of performance increase with this kind of technique but you know you decide do a little bit of experiment and basically see where it's going to take you all right this thing about to finish so now if i'm going to do playback we can see that it's playing back in the real time at 24 frames a second so if i'm editing music video or any kind of project i'm pretty much getting real time performance however again depending on your computer for example my system i have all nvme drives and ssds so most of the times i get real time playback on most of the files for editing but again depending on your system you will see performance increase so that was optimized media basically this is only used for optimized media it does not apply for color grading now as you can see over here we get real-time performance 24 frames a second now if I'm gonna apply color grading to it you're gonna see the performance gonna drop where we started because the color grading is not being calculated by optimized media so if I'm gonna apply uh, heavy uh, grading over here which I have three GPU effects we're gonna see incredibly slow playback which you know not too bad I guess my system handles it but you know if you have slower system you will see a uh, big drop in performance so how to fight with that and basically how to do render cache let's say I have a client sitting or whatnot and you want to see real-time performance on a heavy grading well you go into playback and you have two options in the render cache you have smart and you have user basically smart the venture is all automatically figure out when you need render cache and user you tell the system that hey this is a clip I need to have render cache for this clip so in my case let's go to the user okay nothing happening and now if I'm gonna locate the clip that I want to have uh, cache render basically I right click and we have fusion output and basically normal render cache color output once I'm gonna click on it we're gonna see that this clip on top turned red that means it's calculating in the background if we're gonna go to the edit section we can see there's a red line now on top of the editing and the blue is basically calculating once that blue finished calculating that means the Vinci Resolve finished render caching so whatever grading or processing or effects you have that means it's cached so you're getting real-time performance so let's wait and see once this thing is complete how it plays back again on my system it's very hard to kind of slow it down because I have very beefed up computer but generally you will see again very big difference in performance so over here you can see I can scrub to timeline and it plays back completely normal now here's thing to remember if you're going to change resolution of your project um, let's see master settings if I'm gonna switch to 4k for example render cache gonna have to do cache calculation over again so if you let's say done color grading and you kind of want to preview before you're gonna start final render I really recommend to do all your caching with the higher resolution instead of 1080 or whatever you're working with because 
it's gonna have to calculate over again so you kind of not gonna lose any time hopefully the venture is over at more things in the future in relations to improving playback but for now this basically three things we can do to improve it so thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the following videos take care